Joining us now, Tennessee Congressman and member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Congressman Tim Burchett, back with us this morning wearing his Tennessee Vols orange, the baseball team, uh, off to one heck of a start. Congressman, great to see you. Take it you're at home this morning. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me on, brother. Good to have you back. I uh, just want to get your reaction to that. So let's see, we are about... Let's say 200 plus days away from uh, the start of 2023, seven months from now. So, if the war is still going on, we'd be well into the 300th day of this war when this actual ban on Russian oil, which is not a full ban and it's not a ban on the most important uh, NATO countries, would go into effect. What do you make of this? I make of it just about what I did with the uh, when we we we, we banned the, the Russian banks and and all that. It really didn't do a whole lot. It was uh, political maneuvering. Uh, we didn't hit them where it really hurt. Um, we basically just showed our our weak underbelly by by allowing us to um, to cancel our our contracts in our own country, weakening us, and then further strengthening Russia. I just don't. This leadership, if, if they're intentionally doing this, they couldn't be doing us much more harm, I don't think. Yeah, I agree. You tweeted out intentionally shutting down our gas supplies and then faking concern is not going to fool voters. And you tag the uh, president of the United States there. Uh, do you believe that? Th there are rumors that we could see uh, a ruling as early as today, possibly this week when it comes to Roe v. Wade. Do you think that will take voters' attention off what they just dealt with Memorial Day weekend? The national average for a gallon of gas now the highest once again that it's ever been, 462 a gallon. I don't think anything happens by accident in Washington. I think everything is, is planned out and perpetrated on the American voters, and that's clearly what's going on right now. They need a, they need a diversion. The Democrats need something that will will put them in the positive light. And currently, the price of fuel is not doing that. And so uh, with Roe v. Wade coming out, um, I, I think it's going to drive more conservatives to the polls. I think folks are, are tired of, of babies being murdered. Yeah. And ugly, unborn babies. And I, I honestly do. I, I just don't see, you know, you've got a party that wants abortion up to the point of birth and then and then some. And they fought our, our efforts even to, to fight that when, when a baby is born alive during an abortion. Yet the Democrats blocked that legislation. They said, well, it never happens. I said, well, then, Dad Gummett, why don't you let us pass the legislation? Yeah, only 12, most recent polling, only 12% of the American people favor uh, abortion uh, that late into a pregnancy. Um, apparently, the left doesn't care about that. But uh, this weekend, we saw, and this surprised <laughs> me, according to AAA this morning, almost 40 million Americans traveled at least 50 miles away from their homes over the Memorial Day weekend. Uh, that's up almost 10% from a year ago. With gas prices where they are, airline prices are way up. What does that tell you about where the American people are right now psychologically? Well, I think they're, they're ticked off. You know, you saw hundreds of flights that were canceled out of LaGuardia and, and, other, and other major hubs. Um, out of Knoxville, they're still flying pretty regular, so we're pretty glad about that. But I think the American public's just going to be ticked off. The, the travel, if you look out now, the, the prices they're paying for a a pound of bacon when they're at, at the store or a gallon of gas. It's just ridiculous. And this administration is just doing gimmickry. They, they released a little bit of reserves, which we know would have a, maybe a one-day effect, and the yeah. market didn't even blip. So, I, again, I mean, the president said it during his debate when he was trying to run to the left of Bernie Sanders. He said, you know, we're going to raise this prices to $7 a gallon. We're going to drive people to drive these electric vehicles. The problem is our grid won't support it. You know, you have four or five percent of the people driving electric vehicles, they're going to all come home at six o'clock and, and, and plug their cars in. And our electric grid will not support that at all. And, and you're seeing that you're seeing even the small amount in, in Southern California, three percent or something, and they're having a rolling blackout. So I think it's going to be a rough summer for the American public until we get some real leadership in what Washington. What are prices at, Congressman, in Tennessee, <laughs> where you are right now? Uh, around 540 something yeah. i believe i, so I don't same. know i don't even look at i don't even look at it i used to try to make conversations at the pumps and now i just people just yell at me and say say they're mad at the president yeah about i use it. that, I use that squeegee thing on my windshield now i'm just frustrated now i take it out on that yeah. squeegee i only put in a half tank and i gotta drive in and out of manhattan every single day but i can't i just can't do it I can't, oh. i'd rather go to the gas station twice than fill it all the way up because mm -hmm. i just can't that number is just it's shocking um, so Joe Biden today is going to meet with the uh, chairman of the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, to, uh, to try and tackle inflation and gas prices. Um, what, do you expect anything positive to come out of this? I really don't. I mean, you heard this um, 
this this Fed head of the Fed make some statements that he it was just kind of a guessing game or something to him. And I'm that's not the kind of thing America the American public demands or or, or deserves. Under Trump, you had you had positive uh, economic leadership, and you saw us at the, you saw us uh, job job hirings. You saw you saw wages increase, and you you saw the economy just just growing at leaps and bounds and now it's just stumbling all over itself and this this weak character that we have in here now is just in the fed it, it, it's just ridiculous and we're in some real trouble i'm afraid yeah interest rates are high and it's just there seems to be no solutions this whole plan to wean us off fossil fuels <coughs> with no alternative in place just makes it makes no sense mm -hmm. to me and this is what john Kerry wanted to do in 2004 thankfully uh, george w bush beat him but, uh, but, I mean, it's just it's unbelievable where we are right now. I know the national average is 462, but I want to know where. I don't see that gas price anywhere. It's, it's right around 540 or, or more for most people in this yeah. country right now. It's unbelievable. Congressman, good to see you. As always, uh, go Vols, I guess. Uh, this is a big one. It's a big one. We're going we're gonna to take it all this year. I'm really fired up. Thank you. And, I'm, of course, being the uh, third, yeah. third string first baseman on the congressional Republican congressional baseball right. team, I I, sp I speak with full third authority on that issue. Are you third string? I thought you were second. No, well, I was actually fourth, and then somebody went to the outfield. That's and I right. Moved up to third. That's right. I knew that. All the, right. The co the coach says I'm eye candy. So, yeah. You know, well, <laughs> I, I got that. Go I got that going for me. I to come you see you, you, you only got one, July 22nd, okay. in that stadium. You ought to be. I'll get Ooh. you a ticket. Wait, holler at me. Is it, wait, it's up here I'll, in yeah. New York. No, Nat Stadium. Oh, Nat in, Stadium. Uh, well, this is Met Stadium. All right. Well, maybe, no. possibly. <laughs> Possibly. Sorry, I know it. All right, Congressman, good to see you. We'll do it again soon. Thank you. Thanks, Rob. Always. Best hair in the business, dude. GQ Magazine was right, dude. You got it. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.